when I was going through this dark period, uh, you know, in the midst of the darkness, and it was all making public, I mean, you know, strangers. Uh, one person wrote me a letter saying that they hoped I was executed. Another person wrote back and even took it a step further and said they wish I suffered from a, a botched execution. And you, you realize people hate me. They don't even know me and they hate me. You, you realize it's over and that now we're just going to see what we can do to kind of uh, mitigate the, the end result of it. But the reality is, is that it's a, it's a train that takes off on its own and, and you just have to ride that train to the end. It is with every addict, no matter what you're addicted to, which is, it's my escape. It becomes, you know, hey, look, it's a great day. I need to drink, use drugs, go gambling. Man, it was a horrible day. I need to escape it. I need to drink, use drugs, go gambling. And then while you're in the midst of it, you feel uh, you have a high of that you're winning or that you're, like I said, drinking or using drugs. You've got an actual high that your brain's reacting to. And then you have a crash afterward of like, look at the damage that I've done. Why have I done this? And, and it, it doesn't make sense to anybody. Everybody wants a straight line answer, step A, step B, step C, on how an addiction works. And there is no straight line. You go up, you go down, you go sideways, you go every which direction. But all roads back to it's the only thing that makes you feel safe in that moment that destroys your life at the end of it. You know, there's, there's that moment of realization of like, you, you, you want to believe that it's not happening and then when you suddenly realize that it is happening is that you just go, all right, you come to terms with it, you accept it. You may be fearful of it at moments, you may be uh, regretful of it at moments, but then you finally have to just come to the acceptance of this is what is happening with my life and my life as I have known it is over. And, and it is. The life I had, I don't have anymore. And so I now need to rebuild a life. And you've got to, re, you've got to redesign, where am I going from here? Um, the way I describe it is, is that I hit control, alt, delete on my life. Uh, it's can be, been completely rebooted and I, it, haven't, it hasn't gotten to the point where I even know what's gonna be on the screen right now. Yeah. You know, I think number one, I had incredible family and friend support. I mean, I, had, I always had someone coming to see me. I always had letters. I always had people uh, being able to communicate with me and offering me support and offering me love. And, and that, that is what gets you through, is that you know that, that there's still life outside of that prison that, that wants you and loves you. And then you've also got the, the, the part of, you got guys in there that's going through the exact same thing experience that you are, no matter what it was that got them there whether or not it was a white collar crime or a drug crime, you look at each other and like, we're just getting through this together the best way that we can. And uh, so, you know, you just, it, it, it sounds like something I would say to somebody who's an addict, but it's like, you just gotta take it one day at a time. And when I got out, I mean, there was this trepidation of going into a public place. Who am I going to see? Who am I going to run into? What are people gonna be saying when I walk into a room? And it happened. I mean, I would walk into some place and I could see people pointing and, and talking as I would go into a, a restaurant with friends or whatever. And, and eventually you just kind of go, it is what it is. I have to live the life that I was created to live. I have to live the life that has the destiny for me that I've got to walk out and to achieve. And if I allow anything to stop me from doing that, then I have failed in the reason I'm on this planet. That this happened because of choices I made. It should have been happening to me because I made the choices that would cause it to happen to me. And so there was never that, oh, this shouldn't be happening to me. That never entered my mind. It just didn't because, you know, part of, of being an adult is accepting responsibility for what you've done and turning it around. And that's what I'm trying to do now.